Function is one of the most important concepts in the study of mathematics. Functions help us visualize relationships in terms of graphs and make it easier to interpret different behavior of variables. Functions are mathematical building blocks for financial applications, economic, medicine, engineering, different fields of sciences, and others. Some concrete applications of functions are predicting natural disasters, calculating pH levels, measuring decibels for sound intensity, and designing machineries. So what exactly is a function? A relation f from set A to set B is said to be function if every element of A has one and only one image in B. In other words, a function f is a relation such that no two pairs in the relation has the same first element or the x-coordinate. Consider this following example. Suppose we have set A with elements 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, and 4, 6. Here is the graphical representation. From this example, we can say that each and every element has only one corresponding element in f of x. Therefore, we can say that this one is a function. Next example. Suppose we have set B with the following elements. Negative 2, 7. Negative 1, 3. 0, 1. 1, 5. And 2, 5. Here is the graphical representation. Titingnan lang natin yung first element. Dapat walang nauulit dun sa first element. Dun sa ating set of ordered pairs, makikita natin negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So walang nauulit dun sa first element. Therefore, set B is a function. Another example, C equals 3, 0, 3, 2, 7, 4, and 9, 1. Here is the graphical representation. So, dito sa example na to, makikita natin na na double yung 3. Therefore, this is just a relation. Consider this following example. F of x equals x plus 1. What if we are asked to find f of 3? So here's how to solve the problem. First is copy the equation. Then, for every x in the equation, we are going to substitute 3. So f of 3 equals 3 plus 1. So f of 3 equals 4 because 3 plus 1 equals 4. Next example, f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Find f of 2. Solution, first copy the given equation and for each and every x variable in the equation we are going to substitute 2. So f of 2 equals 2 squared plus 2 times 2 plus 1. So 2 squared equals 4 plus 2 times 2 equals 4 and just copy plus 1. So 4 plus 4 plus 1 equals 9. So f of 2 equals 9. Another example. G of x equals the quantity of x over 2 squared plus 4. What if we are going to find G of 4? Solution. First, copy the given equation. And for each and every x variable in the equation, we are going to substitute 4 since 4 yung hinahanap natin. So, g of 4 equals 4 over 2 squared plus 4. 
Then, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Then, just copy squared plus 4. So, 2 squared is 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Therefore, g of 4 equals 8. What if we are going to find the sum, the difference, the product, and the quotient of two functions? Let f and g be two functions. Then, f plus g of x can also be equal to f of x plus g of x. f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. And f over g of x is also equal to f of x over g of x such that g of x must not be equal to 0. Because we all know that the divisor must not be equal to 0. Because if that happens, then the value of the function will become undefined. Consider this following example. Suppose we have f of x equals x and g of x equals 3x plus 1. Find f plus g of x. So f plus g of x is also equal to f of x plus g of x. Now, we are going to substitute the value of f of x and the value of g of x. So the value of f of x is 2x. And the value of g of x is 3x plus 1. After substituting, now we are going to combine the like terms. So the like terms here will be 2x and 3x. So 2x plus 3x equals 5x. Because 2 plus 3 equals 5. And then copy the variable. So f plus g of x is equal to 5x plus 1. Next, for the subtraction. So same given, f of x equals 2x and g of x equals 3x plus 1. Find f minus g of x. So f minus g of x is also equal to f of x minus g of x. So same lang nung kanina, we are going to substitute the value of f of x and g of x in the equation. We have 2x minus, open and close parenthesis, 3x plus 1. Don't forget to enclose the value in the parenthesis. Now we are going to distribute the negative sign in each and every term inside the parenthesis. So we're going to do the distribution property of multiplication. So negative times 3x equals negative 3x. Negative times 1 equals negative 1. So 2x minus 3x minus 1. Then the next step is to combine the like terms. So the like terms here are 2x and negative 3x. 2x minus 3x equals negative x and just copy negative 1. Next, for the multiplication. Suppose we have the same given f of x equals 2x and g of x equals 3x plus 1. Find f times g of x. f times g of x is also equal to f of x times g of x. We're going to substitute the value of f of x and g of x in the equation. 2x times 3x plus 1. Then, we are going to do the distribution property of multiplication. 2x times 3x equals 6x squared, and 2x times 1 equals 2x. So, f times g of x is equal to 6x squared plus 2x. For the division, let f of x equals 2x and g of x equals 3x plus 1. Find f over g of x. So f over g of x is also equal to f of x over g of x. Then substitute the value of f of x and g of x. Then f over g of x is equal to 2x over 3x plus 1. 
composition of functions. If g is a function from a to b, and f is a function from b to c, then the composite function f of g of x is a function from a to c. Suppose we have f of x equals 2x and g of x equals 3x plus 1. Find f of g of x. First, we are going to write the value of f of x, which is 2x. And then for every x in the equation, we are going to substitute the value of g of x. So 2 times the quantity of 3x plus 1. And then we are going to apply the distribution property of multiplication. 2 times 3x equals 6x, and 2 times 1 equals 2. From the same given, what if we are asked to find the value of g of f of x? So first, write down the value of the function g of x, which is 3x plus 1. Then for every x in the equation, we are going to substitute the value of f of x, which is 2x. 3 times 2x equals 6x, and then bring down 1. So g of f of x equals 6x plus 1.